All right, everyone, here we are with ticker symbol HYLN, Hylion Holdings Corp. And before we jump into this chart, I want to say welcome to all my first time viewers and investors. Welcome to my channel, Invest for Tomorrow. To all my subscribers, welcome back. And let's jump into this chart. So, Hylion Holdings Corp. had a massive drop. Now, since the 24th, it broke through the 50 day moving average. It's been having a tug of war and the bulls trying to reappear. And it just dropped dramatically today. I mean, it dropped almost four dollars in total and that's that's a pretty big uh drop but one thing i'm noticing is a lot of people are talking about you know the whole nicola situation could that be part of the effect and workhorse um i was looking at it here it didn't lose as much when it comes to the total amount that highly on loss and then i went to another ev company and i said okay let me check well tesla went down a little bit and so forth and if we look up Nicola, let's see how that that got affected. Let's let's see what happened there cuz that that was a big effect. We also saw here how Neo had a slight uh drop. So I think the whole EV sector got slightly affected by this. Just just slightly, not tremendously or nothing crazy. But let's let's look at some other random um ones. Yeah, this one went down a little bit. The EV sector overall. Let's look at Ride. Um it was down as well. It went down a little bit. And let's look at Nicola. Let's just jump to Nicola. Nicola was some crazy stuff. Um, man, wow. That was a big drop there. I think this was the hardest one hit from this whole entire situation. I mean, it lost that contract with uh, GM, I, I believe. And uh, I think that that went ahead and created this catalyst. So I think some of these EV companies were waiting on contracts and speculation and hope. And uh, we need to watch these closely because of the fact that these companies can go ahead and uh, show us how quickly they could fall. Now, I don't know how Hylion gets affected by this directly that or indirectly by that because it, it lost the most. I mean, we looked at some other ones and. This is a big drop for, you know, the market cap that it is and for the price point that it was, you know, Tesla lost the most, but I mean, that's like nothing compared to the price of Tesla. And then some other ones didn't move as much as it did by, by the much bigger amount here that this one did, but, uh, Hylion definitely fell. We need to watch this closely. The 50 day moving average is right here at this point, And that is. 2322 we need to go ahead and keep that in mind 2322 2321 give or take that is super important for us to keep in mind and pay close attention to as this plays out and how this reacts let's go ahead and move our support to its new location the lowest point touched and reached and our resistance on to its new location so the 50 day moving average is super important it lets us know on what side of the chart we're in we are currently in bearish territory and the bulls need to break through that to get back into bullish territory. So super important for every single investor to keep in mind. Now, our support level is 1999. If that gets broken through, this could be on its way to newer lows and newer support levels. So I want every single investor to keep that in mind. Pay very close attention to how this stock is reacting. How quickly is it moving down? Because we're already in bearish territory and breaking through support is just going to pull this further away from the 50 day moving average in a downward direction. So keep that in mind and pay very close attention. I want to emphasize that to the behavior of the stock and if the bulls are trying to reappear because you can see here in this bearish trajectory, the bulls appeared only once. So it's going to be very important in the next coming days and week. Now, our resistance is 2090. That needs to be broken through by the bulls. It does not signify that the bulls have gained control. This is just the beginning catalyst for the bulls to start to work their way up. And it's an indicator for us investors to have a sense of direction of where this is going. But the bulls still need to break through that, turn it into a support, and pull away from it to get closer to the 50 day moving average and get back into bullish territory. But this is the beginning catalyst to even get anywhere near the 50 day moving average and start to work its way up. So 2090 is our resistance that needs to be turned into a support so that the bulls can pull away from it and reach new resistance levels and newer highs. As always, if you found this video helpful and informative, please do so and subscribe. Don't forget 
to click on the bell to turn on all notifications and not miss a single video that I post. Share this with your friends and community. And don't forget to hit the like button to let me know you watch this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money. At the end of this video, there's going to be a pop-up video. And in that video, I will be discussing about the S&P 500 index and how it's been rising several points on schedule dates. As you see here on the graph, these circles are the dates that the pumps have happened. And I use them as examples to show you guys how much the stocks have risen and the S&P 500 index rose on those dates. And the reason why it's rising is due to the fact that the Federal Reserve is pumping the markets on these dates the charts and the dates speak for themselves as we can see it here and i break it down into more detail in the video but just to summarize it on these dates the s p 500 rises and there's individual ticker symbols rising up with it anywhere from 30 cents to three dollars per share i know it may not seem like a lot but per share that does add up and these individual ticker symbols are giving you back profits these are profits and like i always say profits are profits whether it's a dollar put into the market and you get back two dollars you've put in an initial investment and you got back more than what you started with that's what it's all about and also in the video i go into further detail showing you guys these dates and showing you how much it rose like for example this was one of the last pump dates and the lowest point that it reached was down here at 35.11 and the highest point reach was 35.57. That's like a 40 point jump. And here we're seeing the same thing. It went down to 35.88 and it rose up to about, I'd say, let's see, this is all still in the same day. It rose up to about a total amount of 36.23. When you do the math, that's almost a 40 to 50 point jump. And there's individual ticker symbols rising up with this. Now, I'm not there to guarantee you profits. I'm not there to tell you to buy, sell, or hold anything in particular. I'm just here to inform every single investor on the great news, on the opportunity to maximize profits and minimize losses. You have to do your due diligence and research, but these charts and the dates speak for themselves. I mean, this was probably one of the largest jumps that I've seen in the last couple of pumps. And it was down here at 3302 and it rose up to about 33.88. That was an 80 point jump. There was probably ticker symbols rising up more than $3 per share on those dates. And even on these dates, there's individual ticker symbols rising more than $3 per share. Check it out, see for yourselves. And my best advice is look for ticker symbols that may be resembling the behavior of the S&P 500 index, and you'll be able to go ahead and give it a shot. Check it out. Again, I'm not there to tell you to buy, sell, or hold anything in particular. I'm not there to guarantee you profits. I'm just here to go ahead and share the information along with every single viewer and investor. The video should be popping up soon. If you haven't seen it already, pop up. There is the link down below in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching, and let's make some money.